What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And man, I don't know how the world I missed this one. I have no idea how I missed this story. This thing's been out for two days, and somehow it just evaded me. Everywhere where I was going and clicking until I stumbled upon somebody else's video, I was like, oh, crap, this is happening? Oh, I got to talk about this, man, because you guys know this is right up my alley. I love discussing this particular topic because I think it's stupid. I think it's insulting. Everything under the book when it comes to race swaps, gender swaps, you name it, all right? And of all people, South Park is going to tackle this. Oh, I can't wait till this comes out. You know I'm looking forward to this one, man. And you can see on this tweet from N Wokeness, South Park race and gender gender swapped all the characters in their upcoming special called Joining the Pandaverse, and they named it perfectly, perfectly titled right there, okay? Pandering to all the woke idiots, the Pandaverse, all right? Pandering to all their little woke friends in Hollywood, all right? Pandering to that, oh, you must see yourself in this character crowd, right? You guys know I can't stand that. I've done a ton of videos off of that, all right? I never get tired of that crap, all right? Oh, you must see yourself in something as superficial as skin color, right? And then they trot all of the actors and actresses to go out there and spit that same BS to the crowds. Man, look, I cannot wait for Matt and Trey to take this whole stupid thing down, man. I am looking so forward to this one. Because look, it's the same story every, so every time it comes to race swaps. It's the exact same story. It's insulting to the community, all right? That's number one, all right? Very insulting to the community, but it's also insulting, and these actors and actresses don't think about this, it's insulting to them, all right? No, we're not gonna give you a brand new original character for you to like kind of shape and mold into your own and that you will be known as this character for the rest of your career. We're not gonna give that to you. No, we're gonna race swap you, all right? We're gonna give you a race swapped version of that character. Now, trot along and play that character for us. Thank you, all right? It's absolutely insulting, all right? It's just lazy, it's non-creative, all right? It's just virtue signaling. It's virtue signaling, and it's hard to believe that a lot of these actors just eat this stuff up instead of demanding, nah, man, you're gonna put the same time and attention into writing an original character if you wanna do some sort of diversity, whatever, inclusivity, whatever, okay? Hey, I'm down for that. Go ahead and write something original. Quit race swapping uh, existing characters and then just saying, oh, here you go, and there we go, diversity, we did it, okay? That crap is so insulted, man. I hope South Park takes this crap all the way down, okay? I hope they take the whole race swap and the gender swap. Take it down, destroy it, okay? I want everybody laughing at this thing. I cannot wait. Yeah, and they got a whole trailer about this, all right? A new exclusive event. It's coming October 27, all right? So that's in, what, like a couple of weeks? Whoo, man, this is going to be fun to watch. Let's go ahead and check out the trailer. Exclusive event with all your favorite South Park characters. There's Cartman. I had explosive diarrhea all night. Stan. Dude, school is going to be so awesome today. Butters. Oh, hamburgers. And oh my God, they killed Kenny. I like big boobs. <laughs> How does this even make any sense? It makes perfect sense. I think the problem is you. South Park new exclusive event streaming October 27th exclusively on Paramount Plus. <laughs> Man, PC Principal is one of my favorite characters in South Park. He is the perfect example of everything that's always wrong with society because no matter what side he's on, okay, it's probably the wrong side, all right? PC Principal, I love him, man. He says, you're the problem. Love that stuff, man, love this. But yeah, this is gonna be awesome, okay? This is gonna be amazing stuff. I cannot wait until this comes out. But of course, you know, the wokes are already mad, okay? They already complaining. Uh, there's a new South Park event teaser, and God, we're already so tired. And look what we got here. We got some comments from the wokes. Let's go ahead and see what they were talking about. Can we finally add South Park to the list of overly long-running adult animated shows that need to die already? Hey, yeah, sure. Convince folks to stop throwing money at it. That's the only thing that's going to work. Uh, it was added to the list years ago. Uh, the question is, if a show like this is still getting made, but no one watches it, will it still cause outrage? Yo, people are going to watch this. All right. People are going to watch this one. Listen, if anyone can be trusted to deliver a script about media pandering, it's South Park, the ancient franchise that's been pandering nonstop to mediocre, edgy, white dude bros for a quarter century. Man, they mad, boy. They don't like South Park. They don't like South Park. Man, I love South Park. <laughs> Look at this. Show us on the doll where the nasty straight white man touched. <laughs>
the best critique of South Park and the one that's come the closest to explain it, why it rubs me the wrong way, is that they always take the side of not caring. Oh my God, you hear this person? Not caring. The end result is always that caring about anything is dumb and both sides are bad if either of them actually care. No, again, this thing, look, Hollywood, in my opinion, this is the problem when it comes to this race swap stuff. I'm, I'm just going to speak about the race swaps, okay? Not about South Park in general, but it, it needs to be taken down, okay? This crap has gotten out of control. And Hollywood, they, they've not been innovative or creative in a long time. And that's a damn shame, you know? There's a reason why Western entertainment keeps losing, all right? Hollywood is crumbling. You see One Piece live action, something that came from Eastern entertainment, from manga and anime. Why is that taking the world by storm? Have you ever sat back and asked yourself that question? Why is that one just taking off? Because people want good stories. They want entertainment. They don't want these empty, superficial acts, these performative acts of piousness and sanctimony. Oh, look how good we are because we race swapped the character. All right. Nobody wants to see that crap. I mean, it's kind of funny how they just say, yeah, they're not caring when I think that's them caring a great deal. Yeah, they're making fun. All right. They're going to poke some fun at it. But at the same time, it's like I think folks actually do care about, you know, mainstream entertainment being completely shitty like it is over the last like five to six to seven years. It's been really bad, guys. OK, and I think that everybody is kind of like, you know what? Let's just start taking this stuff down. That's why all of these YouTube channels that are popped up that are taking stuff down and saying, hey, look, Hollywood, mainstream entertainment, it's trash. Again, this is culture, all right? This stuff is culture. It's a piece of your culture, and it's trash, and it's rotten to the core. It's not entertaining, all right? It's filled with Hollywood nonsense. I mean, you know, again, it's time for this stuff to get taken down. And I'm so glad that South Park is doing it. I cannot wait until October 27th. I've been expecting them to make a Bill Maher-esque heel turn someday. Maybe this is it. These people are hurt, man. <laughs> These cats are hurt. They are hurt to their core. Oh, my goodness. Have you not watched any of the recent seasons? They become increasingly conservative despite not giving up the frat boy humor. What's wrong with being conservative? These guys are so mad. Oh, they're so mad, man. They don't like people that have a difference of opinion. They don't like the fact that they are going to take down all of the race swaps. Because, again, see, everybody that you see in these comments, these are the people that they're making that race swap crap for, all right? But these people, again, they're not the majority, all right? The majority of people are like, this is dumb. This is stupid, you know? Give us original characters. Give us something creative. We're kind of tired of the race swaps. We're tired of the gender swaps. Give us stuff that's original and unique. Don't just give us this pious performative bullshit. All right? People are tired of that crap. All right? And these are the only people that care about it. All right? These are the people that have white guilt. That's what they call it, right? White guilt. Oh, I'm so guilty because uh, they haven't done black people and Latino people right. You know, so we have to go out here and just pour out all of our heart and our emotions. And, and, and clap for all of this. Oh, yes, we love it that there's a black Ariel. It's bullshit, okay? You guys are idiots, all right? People, the black people have not asked for that. We are not asking for that kind of crap. It's just hilarious, man. Like I said, man, they make it for these dopes, all right? And these dopes don't even really go out and support it all hard like that, you know? They clap for it on Twitter. They clap for it in the comments, and that's about it. That's why Hollywood is a dried sponge right now. Full of no creativity whatsoever. It's sad. Now, this guy right here, Browser, he gets it, all right? This is a quote from the article. Uh, it's take on increasing calls for diversity in mainstream media, or at least allegations that said calls are cynically exploited by studios to make money. And he follows up, I'd say specifically rebooting characters into diversity, not simply diversity. 100%. 100%. That's exactly what this is all about. It's the race swaps, okay? Taking characters and pushing a diverse skin over them, all right? You know, checkbox uh, Hollywood, all right? Checkbox entertainment, all right? Uh, is this person a woman? Check, all right? Is this person a, you know, person of color? Check, you know? Let's go ahead and make them LGBTQ? Check, 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 all right? That's the kind of stuff that Hollywood is doing. And they're, and they're doing that with existing characters that have already been established, all right, for sometimes decades, and, oh, yeah, we're just going to swip them around, race swap them, done. Instead of actually saying, you know what? Let's actually make some original characters. An original character that actually feels organic, you know, 
to the community that this person is supposed to represent. You know, not race swapping uh, Ariel, you know, that was a Danish fairy tale. We're going to take a black girl and throw her into a Danish fairy tale. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense at all. All right. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing goes. I, for one, am looking absolutely forward to the Panderverse, okay? I cannot wait for this thing to come out. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.